Alrighty, so we are one day, 13 hours away from announcement, and I cannot believe the amount of activity that's going on in the park. Um, it's insane. So this video is a little longer. I apologize for it. I am trying to make my videos shorter. Everyone likes shorter videos, but this one was just epic. I got some pretty good shots, and I was like, mm, do I want to show them? I think so. I got shots up close for all you like coaster nerds that want to see uh, the combs, the electronics for the station and the mechanics, all of it. I got some really cool shots of that. And as you can see, we have new track in the storage area. And from what I'm being told, I'm heading back to the park in just a bit uh, to get some shots of some epic pieces of track that are arriving. I'm told I have to go see these pieces. So I will be at the park tonight and tomorrow night to get these pieces. Um, I'm being told that I'm going to want to be there. So I'm going in person myself to film the track. Normally I have um, some members of my team there filming for me at night, but I'll be there myself tonight and tomorrow night to get these awesome shots of the track. So if you happen to be there, say, feel free to come and say hi. Um, I'll be there. I'll be there on Wednesday as well, all day with the team and some people, um, some followers and all that and friends. So come hang out and uh, chill with us then as well. So again, one day, 13 hours away. So here are some awesome shots of the station piece installed with the combs. Um, and uh, not much else has changed first thing, but give it a second because it's about to take a turn. Um, so, um, we were filming all for about two to four hours today. I'm heading back again. Um, but they got the transfer track ready, um, and they were installing the support beams for the, uh, catwalks on the transfer track and the transfer track will connect to the sliders. Um, I don't know the official names to those sliders yet. Again, I am trying to educate myself, but yeah, as you can see, uh, it looks like there was some slight damage to some parts, but nothing that a little hammer can't fix. Um, but yeah, the station is super small. An interesting um, point to make about the station is how low it is for a B&M dive coaster. So this is probably one of the lowest um, stations I've seen on a B&M dive coaster. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. I swear to God, I'm going to have to like trademark that <laughs> statement. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, so here's some nerd shots of the uh, combs on the uh, station bit. And uh, I... I, I just loved it. Like I was really looking at this after I was filming and I was like, whoa, ha has anyone ever seen these this close up? Um, but yeah, so um, the station's really small, um, but that's like every dive coaster. Uh, we know that it's not a dual station. It's just a one station bit. And uh, the station is really low to the ground, which is super interesting. It means the it's could be good news. It could mean the coaster is going to use a lot of its speed and momentum through the um, the ride and it's going to have a really low brake run, which this is definitely suggesting from these transfer track and brake run pieces being lifted off the truck today. They are definitely going to be installed tomorrow. So I'll be at the park tomorrow. I'm at the park every weekday. But um, yep, they're going to be installed tomorrow. They were getting ready, having their little parts attached before they lift them onto the support beams. Um, Again, I'll be at the park tomorrow. So this video, I'm not going to talk through the whole video because, again, I put a lot of nerd shots in here and uh, shots of everything. Because while we were filming this, by the way, lots of trucks were being unloaded in the storage area. Um, so at the end of the clip, I actually have the storage area clips from um, everything being unloaded from five trucks. Um, and when I'm being told, there's daily shipments of storage containers coming from Germany. And then you have your flatbeds coming from the Clearmount Steel Factory with the track pieces on them. And there's some supports. Um, cross your fingers again for column seven. It's probably not going to arrive because column seven does not exist. We have what we have. Um, again, the coaster is probably gonna be 213 feet tall, but cross your fingers for column seven. I will update you immediately. If column seven happens to arrive, the truckers just told me to come tonight. Well, they told my team, um, to come tonight and, uh, yeah, uh, super exciting. <laughs> um, nonetheless, I'm trying to see, oh, there was weird activity going on at Mindbuster. You'll see that clip too in just a bit. I think in a couple minutes you'll see it. Um, so I just wanted to grab all these shots of them lifting the track. I thought that was cool in case anyone wanted to see that. But yeah, so there's some wood next to Mindbuster and some scaffolding next to Mindbuster now. And there was a maintenance worker monitoring um, Mindbuster. So I don't know what's going on there, but that's pretty cool. Rutherford Construction is back on site. That is good news. So they're back on site. They're getting rebar cages set up. So uh, phase two might be starting. Again, they don't necessarily need to do heavy construction. They can do construction in the morning. We've seen that. They're removing trees in the Timberwolf Forest. So they'll probably dig holes 
in the morning, then leave once like an hour before the park opens, dig those holes, place those rebar cages, maybe pour a footer here and there. We can tell they are on a rush for this project. It's very interesting. So on that note, I want you guys to join us tomorrow at 8.30 p.m., um, or I may make it earlier. I'll announce on Instagram. So right now it's 8.30 p.m. for a live stream. We're going to do kind of like a celebratory like live stream um, to talk and answer your questions. So comment down below any questions you want to ask us, and we will discuss those questions on our live stream tomorrow to um, celebrate the announcement. Um, super excited about it. The park's been working really hard on this. The marketing team has been doing a fantastic job. This is the best teasing campaign Wonderland has ever seen. So Thank you to the marketing team and anyone at the park a part of this project. It's been wonderful um, speculating and joining in on the conversation. Really a huge thank you to you. Um, and uh, thank you to you guys for joining me on this journey of speculating the coaster and following along on the construction updates. The construction updates are only going to get better. The speculation is going in the garbage. Throw that giga theory out um, and join me on my drone coverage of the construction. And maybe, who knows, a hard hat tour at some point. Um, down the road? Uh, I think so. Um, hopefully. <laughs> Jokes, but yes. Um, stay tuned uh, and join us tomorrow for the live stream. Hopefully you enjoy the remainder of the footage. There is Mindbuster footage. Uh, there is the footage of Rutherford setting up the rebar cages and then the shipments arriving um, as we're filming. Uh, have a good one, guys. Uh, I may post an emergency video tonight depending on what is arriving tonight and tomorrow night. But yeah, stay tuned. And thank you so much for watching my video. Give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for drone footage. Have a good one, guys. Bye.